We've got a fantastic E3 treat here. Izuki-san is with us from Sonic Team in uh, Japan, and we've got Derek from Sumo Digital in uh, the UK, and they are collaborating on Sonic Team Racing, a brand new racing game in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. First of all, Izuki-san, I have to say uh, congratulations, because Sonic Thank is you. back in a very big way <laughs> with you. lots of really, really good games. And you, how long have you been working on Sonic games in uh, your career? Well, thank you for all of those incredible Sonic games. Why does Sonic need to get in a car? He's very fast. So Okay, that's going to be my easiest question. Okay. <laughs> Derek, you guys worked on uh, the fantastic Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. That's the, those are all the words, right? Yep. Those are all the words? Hopefully in the right order. Oh, amazing. Yep. Oh, I love that game. I thought it was not just a love letter to Sonic the Hedgehog, but also all of these terrific Sega brands. Thank you. And you guys did a phenomenal job. What is this collaboration like with Sonic Team and building racing games with, uh, you know, th this incredibly eclectic cast of characters? It's been a really a fantastic experience for us. And I think, you know, Team Sonic Racing, you know, the racing part of it is something that Sumo has always done and always done to a very high standard. The Sonic part of the equation, Sega have helped us to understand what it means to be a racing game in the Sonic universe. Yes. And I think the team aspects of it are something that we've had to collaborate to figure out for ourselves. Back in business, thanks! Let's talk a little bit about this idea. What was the concept for Team Sonic Racing from the beginning? Did it start with your team? Uh, レースゲームっていうのはどうしてもあの一人対全員みたいな形でみんながこうライバルとして戦うのがまあ通常のレースゲームなんですけどもそうではなくて友達同士で一緒に協力しながら他のライバルたちと戦うというゲームが作りたく
very, very hardcore technique that only the very best players are going to be able to access, but you know, it's something we wanted to make sure was available for those players. Similarly, a lot of the team play, you know, the team ultimate, um, there's a lot of subtlety to exactly when you should use it, swapping items. Similarly, there's advantages to swapping items at certain points and swapping certain types. So there's a lot of little touches in there that I think the expert players, as they play the game more and more, will discover and realize you know, that the game has a lot of strategic depth as well as being a great immediate arcade racer. As you're building this game, are you working with uh, the Sonic team folks and they're giving you feedback, or are they coming up with design pieces and then saying, is this something that your artists and programmers can build for us? Describe the process a little bit. I think we, we did a bit of both, actually. I mean, you know, the idea generation tend to come from both um, both Sega and Sumo, mm -hmm. and then you know just discussion about which of them fits within within the game. And again, it comes back to you know if it's something about the Sonic Universe, then obviously Sega knows you know what things are appropriate to the Sonic Universe. Yeah. Um, in terms of the racing experience, Sumo are able to lean on our experience and say these things might or might not fit in a, in a racing experience. So it's been a very heavily collaborative thing. I have to ask how Sonic Team views Sumo and how your group sort of decided that this was a developer that you wanted to partner with and share your very precious intellectual property with. Sumo Digital is an All-Star series of tennis and racing titles. あのすでに一緒にやってる経験もありますので、まあ今回のソニックでレーシングをやるという件に関しては、もうまさにスモーさんのそのレーシングのテクニックっていうのをすごく活かしたゲームにしたいということで、まあ声をかけました。Let's go ultimate on these guys. Well, I can't wait to play. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm a big fan, so I can't wait. Thank you.